Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this episode, we'll be continuing with our medical coding game for our CPC exam practice. I am the medical coding guy. Before we continue, 72% of the people who watch my videos are not yet subscribed to this channel. Click that subscribe button now and receive 5 item practice exam by sending an email on your screen with proof of subscription. It will help the channel a lot providing free tips and techniques for your exam preparation. And now, let's continue with our episode 4. So episode 4 is going to be the uh, breathe in, breathe out episode. We'll be discussing more of your 3000 series about respiratory system. We still have three categories left. So we'll start now with your breathe in, breathe out for $200. Feel free to pause the video as you like while you're answering the questions. Let's now begin with an anatomy and med term question. All right, timer starts now. All right, for this question, guys, you just have to check what's the correct path of the air towards the lower respiratory tract. So take note, guys, that our respiratory system is divided into upper and lower respiratory tract, all right? So the upper respiratory tract includes the nose, the sinus tract, all right? You also have the pharynx and the larynx. But if we go down towards the lower respiratory tract, you will find it under your trachea going down to the carina, which is the bifurcation, all right, towards to your left and right lung. So inside the lungs uh, path, all right, we have the following parts. So again, you just have to check for the correct path or the sequencing, all right? So of course, we'll be starting first with the larger branches called your bronchi, all right? That's going to be the plural form of bronchus, which is the singular form. Now, eliminate letter B for this because bronchioles is uh, going to be the smaller branches of your bronchi, all right? And then we'll be uh, eliminating as well letter D because as you can see on this image, alveoli are the tiny air sacs located at the end portion, all right, of these branches responsible for O2 and CO2 exchange. So when we say oxygen carbon dioxide exchange, this is where it happens inside the alveoli structure, okay? So the answer for this question is letter A. Congratulations on getting the first question correct. All right, so let's now proceed to your next question. Timer starts now. A 16-year-old presents at the emergency department experiencing an uncontrolled posterior nose bleeding. The emergency provider used a posterior approach to pack their entire nose with medicated gauze. Which CPD code should be applied? all right time's up all right so just go to your nose procedures at the beginning portion of your 3000 series so let's go towards the, the control let's go towards your control of epistaxis or control of nasal hemorrhage so here you have two approaches like anterior and your posterior approach, okay? Now, it's not an anterior approach to eliminate this two right here, 901 and 903, all right? Eliminate this, eliminate this, and eliminate that. What's remaining? So you have your posterior approach as the remaining choice for letter C, 30905, posterior control hemorrhage. So basically, as you can see with the structure of the questions for your respiratory system, it's quite easy, all right? Although it shares uh, its uh, space in the examination, all right, when it comes to the number of items, you will get around six items for your 3000 series. That's going to include the cardiovascular uh, system. It will include the hemic lymphatic system plus the mediastinum and diaphragm procedures. Again, you have a lot of systems involved in your 3000 series. One of those is going to be your what? Respiratory system, okay? 
So the answer for this one is letter C. Congratulations for your second question. Another easy uh, one. All right. Let's now proceed to your third question for $600. Ruffy Tulfo went to the clinic because of painful midface and difficulty of breathing. He underwent bilateral nasal sinus diagnostic endoscopy. The airway is obstructed and the provider has done fracturing of the middle turbinates and proceeded to perform the surgical endoscopy with partial bilateral ethmoidectomy and nasal septoplasty. What CPT codes are reported? Timer starts. Now. Alright. For this question, guys, it seems to have a lot of codes in the choices, but let's check one by one, alright? So what's the main um, procedure that was done here? The doctor has done fracturing of the middle turbinates. So on your screen right now, this is where you can find the turbinate. So again, we have uh, three turbinates on the right and also on the left side so it's a bilateral thing so please take note that if the doctor will fracture the turbinates guys as an approach to proceed with the procedure you don't have to code it anymore okay so please take note but there's uh, some separate codes for fracturing of the middle turbinates right? if it's going to be done by the doctor separately so you have your 30999 here if you will check your codes for your fracturing of the middle turbinates under your CPT section, all right, you will see it right here. But it's mentioned right here, it's inferior turbinate. As I've said, you have inferior, middle, and your superior turbinate for each side, okay? But take note that if in case you will code the middle uh, middle turbinates as mentioned in the scenario, you will be using 30999 instead, okay? So please take notes. 30930 will not be coded in this case or 30999 as stated in the choices all right because it's part of the technique that was done for the surgical endoscopic approach for partial bilateral ethmoidectomy procedure so in this case uh, let's check 30520 right that's going to be your septoplasty all right let's code it as it is all right 30520. We don't have it under letter C, but we don't. Uh, we will not be checking your letter A anymore, since it has this 30999. All right. Next, you have your 31231. All right for letter C. Since a scope procedure was done, take note, guys, that your diagnostic scope is already included with your surgical scope procedure. All right. It's mentioned already under your guideline here in the first paragraph. Endoscopy. Surgical sinus endoscope already includes sinusotomy or your diagnostic endoscopy. So do not code your diagnostic procedure anymore in this case. Okay, so let's go to 31231. This is your diagnostic procedure. Take note that the uh, doctor has done here a surgical approach for ethmoidectomy using scope. So we will not be choosing this. So what, uh, what do we need to check next? 31255 and 31254. 31255 is your surgical procedure for nasal sinus endoscopy with partial ethmoidectomy. And your approach. While your 31255 is your total. Nothing was mentioned here about being total, right? Only mentioned as partial. So only choose your letter D in this case. All right. It's quite simple, but take note about the guideline. Your surgical scope approach, even with other procedure codes or other system in the CPT section, already includes your diagnostic scope procedure. All right? So do not code them at the same time. All right? The answer for this is letter D. Congratulations. You won $600. Tony G is here for scheduled transplantation of the lungs from a donor involved in an accident which has viable organs for donation. The procedures were done by the following surgeons. Dr. A for the donor pneumonectomy. Dr. B for the backbench work. And Dr. C transplant for transplant of both lungs. 
What is the correct CPT coding for doctors A, B, and C, respectively? Time starts now. All right, time's up. So remember, guys, for transplantation codes, either if it's for lungs, for kidney, all right, for liver, you have to check three things, all right? First is going to be the donor code, which is going to be the process of removing that organ from the donor, either from a cadaver or from a living donor, all right? Next, it's going to be the backbench preparation, all right? And the third code is going to be the transplantation code, all right? The procedure wherein the doctor will, will transplant that organ that was prepared all right, towards the patient, okay? So here we have different doctors who did the procedures, all right? So you have Dr. A, B, and C. Let's check first. The first code will apply for Dr. A, which is the donor pneumonectomy. So that's 32850. We only have a single code for donor pneumonectomy, all right? So just uh, simply check this one, all right? Either one or two lungs will be obtained from that cadaver, right? You only have one code, 32850. So that's for uh, Dr. A, 32850. Next, the backbench work for Dr. B. For backbench work, guys, we have two different codes, 32855 and 56. Uni or bilateral. So again, it's mentioned here in the scenario that the doctor has done it for two lungs, left and the right. So we'll be using the backbench work We'll be coding for the backbench work here for bilateral, 32856, all right? So we will be choosing this, this, and this. Eliminate letter A, all right? So what's left? So let me just remove myself. So the one that's left, so the only thing we need to check is the third code, which is for transplantation of both lungs, which is either your 51, 53, or 54. But let's check your codes real quick, all right? So here, guys, you have the term cardiopulmonary bypass, which was not mentioned in the scenario, all right? So please don't code this if there's nothing mentioned about uh, the doctor using a cardiopulmonary bypass for the procedure, all right? So here you have single versus double. Since we have a bilateral or a, a transplantation of both lungs here, we'll be coding the bilateral code here, which is going to be your 32853. So 32853, we can find it under letter D. You, you don't want to code it times two for the single long because you have an available bilateral code for the transplantation, which is letter D. All right. So congratulations for getting this question correctly. Letter D is the answer. All right. So let's now proceed to the final question. All right. So a patient is presented to the outpatient department today because of difficulty of breathing. The patient was taken into the operating room because it had exacerbated. The VATS exploration notes show a tumor of the lobe of the lung, all right? An immediate biopsy was done and sent to pathology. Results revealed that it's a multiple lung carcinoma. The surgeon then performed VATS with segmentectomy of the right lower lobe of the lung. All right, timer starts now. And pause the video. Time's up. So for this question, guys, you have to check the different things done by the doctor for this scenario. So the doctor has done VATS exploration, all right, because of the difficult breathing and the doctor wants to explore the lungs or the thoracic section, all right? So VATS means your video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery, wherein the doctor will insert a scope towards the chest, towards the lungs. It mentioned here that it shows that there were multiple lung carcinoma, all right? So what was done? So the doctor proceeded with VATS procedure with segmentectomy. It's a thoracoscopic surgery by segmentectomy. Of which one? Which part of the lung? right lower lobe of the lung take note when coding for lung procedure especially for surgery you have to check whether the doctor is uh, will be doing it for the entire lung only a single lobe of the lung or it's just a segment of a lobe of the lung so you have uh, three procedures there 
pneumonectomy, lobectomy, or segmentectomy. All right. So remember, guys, that for the right lung, we have three lobes. For the left lung, we have two lobes. All right. Here, check the first code that will apply, 32669 versus 32671 and 32663. 32669 is for your removal of a single lung segment, which is called segmentectomy. This is under the umbrella of your VATS procedure, thoracoscopic surgery, video assisted, all right? So here, thoracoscopy, surgical, all right? Here, it's mentioned that it's only segment that was removed, 32669, which is, in the case, it was the procedure that was done, all right? Because it's not, it's not the whole lobe of the right lung where the doctor has performed the procedure, all right? So we will not be choosing your pneumonectomy here, all right, 32671, letter C. And 32663 is your lobectomy because the doctor has only done segmentectomy here. The next question is, are we going to code 32607 with modifier 51? So 32607, just uh, check, right? That's going to be your diagnostic biopsy, all right, using scope. Remember, guys, that your diagnostic procedure is already included with your surgical approach for your scope procedure. You don't have to call this. The only answer for this one is letter B. All right. So you can put modifier RT here to indicate that it's for the right lung, right? But the best answer here is letter B. Congratulations for getting all the questions correctly. All right. So again, we'll be having our next episode for the cardiovascular system, which is going to be a difficult one. But that's it for today, guys. And always remember, without knowledge, there is no power. Have a nice day. See you next time.